guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how me and my sister do instacart right now we're on our way to our kroger because it's the only um store that our instacart supports um we actually do our instacart shopping together because it's easier that way and our parents think it's safer that way so we've accepted our first order for the day it is 909 and mine is twenty dollars in total and i have 44 items to get erica's is what 16 with how many items <coughs> 11 yeah so i'll just be showing you guys how we instacart i'm not going to go to my total right now but so far i've done three and this will be my fourth one if i complete this one Okay, so I'm going to press start. And now, and now my list of stuff is going to pop up right now. Okay, so it is later in the day, and this is actually like my fourth batch. Um, it's like 6 o'clock, but this isn't supposed to be a tutorial video. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how much I've made by, by doing this for like two days. So right now, I'm in the middle of a batch, and... I'm trying to find this. Okay, so this person wanted some Frosty Flakes, so I'm just, and currently they're out right now. So I'm just texting her and telling her that the Frosty Flakes are out um, and about to ask her, like, does she want anything other than Frosty Flakes? Hey guys, so if you watch the um, clips before this, then I was in the store or I was on my way to the store and um, that was about it. <laughs> so this portion of the video, I am just going to talk more about Instacart, how much I made, tips and tricks, um, and tips, like actual tips that you, like money tips. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to start off with is tips and tricks and now I'm going to go on to how much I made. So my first tip is to sanitize because we are in the middle of the coronavirus this pandemic so make sure you sanitize and wear your mask i have a cloth mask i am also selling cloth mask on my etsy link is in the description so if you want a cloth mask handmade or sewn on the machine just purchase on my etsy account so yeah, that's the first tip, sanitize everything. The second tip is to look over your badge. Okay, as soon as you get a badge, um, as soon as you like tap the, the thing that comes up when you first see the badge, you can scroll down and you'll see. Okay, I don't know where I was at, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, so like I said, as you, as you accept a badge, you can tell where the, um, what items they got. So, I don't do that. I just look at the total and then I accept it. If it's above if it's above $10 and I'm just starting out throughout the day getting batches, I do it. If it's lower than 10, like there was one I think yesterday, today's Sunday, so Saturday that I accepted that was like $9, I think. Um so usually if it's above um Ten, I accept it and then I look at the batch when it says start shopping and I'm already in the store I look over it and then I just start getting the stuff that's another thing about batches I please 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 accept a batch if you're in a small town and there's a lot of instacart shoppers accept the batch immediately I have missed out on a $30 batch I have missed out on a $24 batch for the simple fact that I did not go ahead and accept the batch when it was available. Um, the problem with my town is that it's so small and there's so many Instacart shoppers here that we don't really have enough orders to like go out for everybody. So it's like a competition. So yeah, and the, the batches aren't really that big because like this person in California did a video and their batches were like 40, 50, 70. 30 no our batches 
the lowest they go is 7 and the highest they go is probably 31 46 if it's two people so yeah we don't get those big batches like the bigger towns do but um, me and my sister are actually going to go to a hot spot city for a whole week and just do batches over there because this is getting overpopulated like our town is getting overpopulated with instacart shoppers that are taking all of our batches so yeah the first tip look over the batch before you um, start shopping because it'll make it a whole lot easier my third tip is to go row to row so when I say that as you know I don't know if every Kroger did, does this but our Kroger and our Walmart they are one way aisles so if you go down an aisle you have to go exactly down that aisle and not turn around and try to go back up the way you came so as soon as you go into the the store there's produce and then you have to go down produce and then go over and like up and out so I start off with produce because by that time if I don't get the produce I'm not going to be able to go like around and just an easy straight to produce so I, I get the produce first and then I get the canned goods and then so on and so forth I just feel like it makes it easier that way and then by the time that you're done you're just completely done because the store goes from produce to dairy and my Kroger is not that big so <laughs> that's all we can do the fourth tip is if you can't find an item get the replacement if there's no replacement find one or message the customer um I think it's better off to message them and see if they'll respond if they don't respond just try to replace it see if they review it and yeah um, I've had a couple that they just uh, they just um, didn't want to be notified about replacements they just trusted me so yeah can't find the item replace it and that's one of the questions you get when you're signing up for instacart anyway so if you don't do that that's on you the fifth one is to always try to keep in good contact with the customer that is usually what they really want you to do like text messages because it's their groceries like why wouldn't you if i have if i actually did instacart like got a a instacart shopper to do my grocery shopping for me that's what i would want them to do like keep in contact with me at all times so that if I if you replace an item, I know what you're re replacing and all of that stuff. The sixth one is to try not to take long in one spot. You are being timed on the app to see how long you take with um, marking an item found each time. So just try not to take long in one spot. I usually, if I skim through it, I know my Kroger very well. So if I can't find it, I'm just going to try my best to, you know, move on. The seventh one is to get ice cream or frozen things last. I don't go by this, but this is a very good tip. And I thought it will help you guys if you have an, if you have a store that is not like one way only, you can do this. But I feel like this is the best way for me since right now our Kroger and our Walmart is one way only. I'm saying Walmart, but I don't think Instacart shops with Walmart because they have their own like um, pick up but anyway try not to take long in one spot get ice cream or frozen things last hold on to your receipt as soon as you check out you're gonna have two barcodes to scan and then once that happens and you have completed scanning everything you swipe your card and then you go to the next step and it's going to tell you to hold on to the receipt so I keep like a small little purse or whatever that um, it's like a pocket thing that I keep and it has all the receipts from Instacart in that one pouch. The customer gets a digital receipt anyway online on the app. So that doesn't really matter. But just for your safety, keep the receipt. And last but not least, follow delivery instructions. If there are none, leave at the front door and take pictures. Once you deliver it and you're about to mark it, um, mark the delivery complete, it will say that you handed it to the customer or you left it at the door those I think those are your only two options and usually if you left it at the door they Instacart automatically makes you take a picture of it so that they can have it and 
you know, it's basically just covering you yourself. Okay, and lastly, I wanted to talk about tips. Um, as you guys know, well, if you if you're a new shopper, you don't know this, but tips they are given to you automatically. It's included within the first total that you see. So when a notification pops up and it says new batch, and then it says the amount and you click on it, you'll see Instacart payment. That's the guaranteed payment that you'll have. And then the tips is whatever you're going to be tipped by the customer. And you'll get that within your total. So that's the that's the added up total, the Instacart payment and then the tip. Usually, if you hand it, if you hand the groceries to the customer and like they have actual contact with you, they will give you an extra tip. I have made 25 by myself my job just started i've only been doing this for three days but i've made 25 dollars in tips and then my sister made i think about 45 dollars in tips i'm sorry i made 35 my sister made 45 instacart is very easy money just like doordash and all of that stuff so yeah also those tips on the uh, app are not guaranteed tips um, they can modify their tip if they feel like you did a bad job. They can lower it or they can give you a higher tip. Now on to the juicy part. I know you guys want to know how much I've made. That's probably all you're here for because that's the only reason I click on Instacart, Instacart videos. Mind you, when I tell you these numbers, these are for low orders, like low batches. These are probably going to be higher if you live in a hot spot city. So just keep that in mind. I've done a total of about four, eight, about ten batches, and I have made one hundred and twenty-five dollars that I could have instantly cashed out, and then I made eighty-seven dollars and fifty cent in tips. So yeah, I'm proud of this. I am completely surprised that I was even able to make this in three days of just doing Instacart. And also keep in mind that customer tips on the app are paid out weekly so on Mondays you do get that money and then it takes one to three days to actually like roll into your bank account just as like a regular deposit does so yeah just like I said Instacart is very 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 easy money all it is is just personal shopping just as if you were um, what OGP at Walmart so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe if you did. If you have any more Instacart um, questions, just leave them in the comment section. I always get that mixed up with the description box. But leave it in the comment section and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.